today. Look at these earrings I have on, first of all. Are they not the cutest little things and perfect for what I'm doing today? I'm gonna to be talking about plants and naming my plants and how to care for my plants with these old 1970s plant books I have. I'm going to label them with this cool label maker that I found thrifting that I just, oh, it was like the biggest score ever. I'm gonna put their little names on these sticks just like I did here with Lily. Lily has a little name already, really original. This is a piece, Lily, that I've managed to nearly kill, but it has a little green left, so I'm gonna try to bring this back to life. And I read that they bloom in the winter, the white flowers, so, and they like to be by a window with some light, so maybe she just hasn't had enough light. I'm gonna work on that. I'd like to transfer her into this cute pot that I have with the peace doves so the peace lily can live with the peace doves and we'll put her by the window and see if she grows and see if I can bring her back to life. These books came from my sister Sarah and they are both from the 1970s, which is pretty cool. That's when I was born. And that means the illustrations are pretty awesome. I'm not sure why this is called purple thumb. I thought green thumb was the thing to have, but it's called purple thumb. Maybe I do have a purple thumb. If it's anything to do with killing plants, that might be me. I really love the illustrations in this book. They just make me smile. Like this one, look at this one, wait. Really cool, look at the, all the hanging plant holders, and I really just love the illustrations. The other one is called The Total Book of House Plants. This one is in color and it gives you all these different plants and how to care for them. I think this book's pretty rad too. So I feel very lucky to have these books. Just as I suspected, purple thumb is not a good thing. People with purple thumbs say, the minute I buy a house plant and walk through my door, it starts to die. While I am good at keeping some plants alive, like the really easy ones, it seems like some very special plants I've let die. This peace lily being one of them. Now this was a gift from Mama Bear, and uh, yes, a peace lily. How perfect is that for me? It's a beautiful, peaceful flower that blooms a gorgeous white bloom, and it's about peace. And I almost killed it, except for this. It does look like it has hope. I seem to also kill plants that are succulent type, the kind that people say, you can't kill a succulent, but I think I overwater them. But I'll show you the, the plants that I can grow that seem to be okay, but they're literally the easiest plant to grow ever in the universe and anyone can grow them. I'll show you that next. If you're new to plants, I would recommend you get this plant to start with. It's called a pothos. They're super easy to take care of. This one, his name is Jerry and he's thriving and barely needs any attention. They like to trail down, their leaves trail down like this. And you know you've overwatered them when their leaves turn yellow and you know you need to water them when they get wilty, wilty. And that's about all you need to know about these plants. They like to hang, they like to be up high so that they can trail down. And if they're not high, like this one, they can just creep along and do their own thing horizontally instead of vertically. This new pot doesn't have a hole. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put these marbles down here. I don't know if that'll work, but just so that it can drain. I actually just discovered after reading up on the peace lily that they're a no fuss plant for people that have a problem keeping plants alive. So I don't know what went wrong for me, but we're really gonna try to get her back and going. 
I wrote in the back of her name that she's to be watered once a week. You don't want her soil to dry out too much, so just keep it moist, but not too moist. That doesn't sound easy. Anyway, I'm gonna try to water her once a week and I'm gonna put a timer on my phone of all the plants that need a once a week watering and when it goes off, I'll walk around and I will water all the once a week waterly weekly plants. Did that make sense? But that's what I'm gonna do. Here are where some of the other plants live in the house, right by the you are beautiful little sign. Love that. So they just sort of sit here close to a window. Mama Lion guards them. I go by Mama Lion, that's what I call myself. I know female lions don't have manes, but I can do and be whatever I want. So this is Mama Lion sitting amongst all of the vegetation. And we even have a bluebird of happiness. And the Berkey lives up here. This is where all the plants like to hang out. Other illustration I really wanted to show you, look how cute that is. And it says, practice plant parenthood. Wow, I just saw a price tag on here. $3.95 back in the 70s. What? Anyway, I'm gonna have fun reading about plants. I'm gonna finish naming my plants. I'll be tootling around here today. I no need to take you for the whole thing. I just wanted to show you a little bit of what I'm doing. I just sat down here to edit this film and I thought of something else I wanted to add. Talk to your plants. They really do love it and it does go a long way. Just like human beings, kind words help us grow. Encouraging words make us feel better. It's the same for plants. We did an experiment once with apples where we took a green apple and we cut it in half and we put half of it in one jar and the other half in the other jar. And I told the family as you walked past these jars, they were put in a place where we walked past often to speak on kind to the one apple and to speak words of love and encouragement to the other apple. And we all did that on a very consistent basis. And the one that we spoke unkindly to, it rotted at a much quicker pace and it blew my mind. And the kids were pretty in awe about it too. So I just wanted to add that. Talk to your plants, just the way you'd talk to your humans. Until next time, peace, love, and definitely keep going.